These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns between various types of irregular verbs so that you can use them properly. Number two is verbs like feed. Now you'll need to notice the sound shifts in the past and the past participle. Verbs like feed shift vowel sounds in the past and the past participle, usually from long e to short e. Let's look at some examples. In the base form, it has the e sound. In the past and the past participle, verbs like these have the e sound. So you can see how it goes. Bleed, bled, bled. Breed, bread, bread. Feed, fed, fed. Speed, sped, sped. And the last one actually ends with a T sound instead of a D sound. Meet, met, met. But it follows the same pattern. Now we also have some variations on verbs like feed. For example, the verb flee does not have a consonant ending in the base form, but when we convert it to the past and past participle, a consonant sound, D, is added. So it goes flee, fled, fled. The next one is lead. It follows the same pronunciation pattern. Lead, led, led. However, the spelling is different, and this is important for you to see. With the base form, instead of ee -E for the spelling, it's ea, but the sound is the same. In the past form, and in the past participle, there's no a, and it is pronounced with a short a eh sound. Led, led. Now that's important for you to remember because the last one can be kind of confusing. And this is the verb read. With read, when we go into the past and the past participle, we also change the sound. Read, read, read. But for some reason, the spelling is not changed. So it looks the same, but in the past and the past participle, the sound is different. So it sounds like the color red. So again, in the base form it's read, in the past red, and the past participle red, without changing the spelling. 